want to talk about today um, mental health and the state of mental health and what it means to so many families and so many people suffering from it. I recently had a very dear friend and client that was murdered by her bipolar son. This came at a great devastating shock and trying to make sense of something so heinous is above and beyond. But what I can tell you is I had many readings with my client and she knew her son had severe issues. But there were times when he didn't take his meds and she knew that and she always said that uh, he didn't like the way the meds made him feel. And I get that. But at one point, parents need to understand a little bit more than just adjusting and coping with their children uh, that are suffering from these disabilities. Mental illness is real. And I don't know how much people realize the degree uh, of suffering that one has within. I have several clients that have had suicide and committed suicide or suicide by loved ones that have done that and loved ones coming and, and trying to make sense of why their son or their daughter or their husband or their wives killed themselves. So it's very real. It's a, it's a growing epidemic. But what I want to say is, you know, I am a parent of a child who suffered autism. It's very, very real, and a, a mental disability is a mental disability, whether it's bipolar, depression, ADHD, ADD, uh, dyslexia, autism spectrum disorder, Asperger's syndrome, it's real. OCD, it is real. And as a parent, you do have to make adjustments. You have to learn to modify and what's going to work for your child so it's a win-win situation. Take it very serious and it does start and I say early intervention is key. So when you see your child acting out or you're getting you know teachers wanting conference calls with you, um, talk to them. Start journaling. Start writing days and behaviors and outbursts and what's going on date them. Take your child to be diagnosed. There is nothing wrong with your child having a disability. I think it's worse when you ignore it. You are doing such a disservice. Put your ego and your pride aside. There is nothing wrong with having a child who has a learning disability or any disability, even a physical disability. They're real and they're human beings. And I'll be honest with you, had I have not taken the measures when my daughter was very young, young as I am going to say three years old, I don't think my daughter would have had more of a success today. And that is due because I saw her for what she is. I saw her strengths, I saw her weaknesses, but I never gave up on her. So I really do believe early intervention. The power of knowledge is huge and I urge anybody who is thinking that maybe something is possibly a little off, find out why. That's love, not ignoring it. So I urge you, and in memory to my dear friend who passed, my hearts and prayers are to this beautiful family and also to her son, because nobody wins when you ignore.